Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestions 205 and 305, Father or Mother Too Young or Not Born. Suggestions 205 and 305 are caused when there is an error with the parent's birth date or with the child's. Look at ages of parents, spouse, other children, and siblings to estimate a more correct date of birth. Add sources if you can find them. If not, add research notes to explain how you arrived at the birth year. Here is a Wikitree feature that can help determine proper dates. On the suggestion report, see that H and the green image beside it? Click on that image. It's family chart lines. You are taken to a Wikitree Plus page that shows the relatives for this person, complete with their available date of birth and date of death. It can become quickly apparent which date is incorrect. Here is the suggestion report for Hattie Dean. There are two suggestions, 803, almost empty profile, and 305, mother too young or not born. For 305, it states that Hattie and her mother were both born in May of 1865. Here is the public view of Hattie's profile. The data section is completely filled out. However, the biography section only has a horizontal line. On the top right, hover over her Wikitree ID, and on the drop-down menu, click on Research. Root Search gives us several sites to choose from. Before making a choice, delete her birth date, since it is in conflict with her mother's. Next, since Family Search is free, let's start there. Note, you have to be logged into that site first. The third entry is a marriage record for her and Anderson Garrett, 24 November 1907, San Augustine, Texas. With that found, let's narrow our search to census records. On the far left, scroll down to Restrict Records By. Below that, click on Type. Next, check the Census box and click the Update button. There is a 1900 census record, giving her birth year as January 1888 and her mother's as May 1865. To find later census records, since Hattie married in 1907, change her last name to Garrett. Click Update. There is a 1910 census giving her birth year as 1887. This census record spells her first name as Hallie, not Hattie. A 1920 census gives a birth year of 1888. The 1930 census shows a birth year of 1882. And the 1940 census gives a birth year of 1889. We now have a range of birth years to enter into the search. Enter 1882 to 1892. Scroll down to Restrict Records By and uncheck the census box. Click Update. Family Search lists a Texas death certificate. The informant gave an incorrect birth date of 1892. According to the census records, it ranges from 1882 to 1889. We now have enough sources to create a biography. Go to Hattie's profile and click Edit. In the Data section, Let's change her birth to January 1888 and mark it as uncertain. Mark the birthplace of Texas as certain. Mark her death date as certain and add San Augustine to her death place. In the biography section, remove the horizontal line. Add the biography and sources headings with a references tag beneath those. Write a short biography based on our sources. Now to add the source for her marriage. Go to the family search results and on the far right click on the icon. 
The next screen shows the document. On the bottom right, click on Document Information. Copy the citation that appears. Return to Hattie's profile and place your cursor behind 1907. Click the Citation button above. Paste the marriage source between the ref tags. Repeat this process for the Texas Death Certificate. Add a subheading entitled Census Records. List each census year and its data below that. As before, add the sources for each one. Add a second subheading, Research Notes, and explain any discrepancies you found, such as about her birth year and her name. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure that the inline citations are properly showing in the Biography and Sources sections. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Take this opportunity to add relevant sources to this person's relatives' profiles. Return to the Suggestions Report and on the far right click on Status. On the Suggestion Status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Since Suggestions 305 and 803 have both been resolved, check Status for related suggestions. Next, of the five status options, choose one, in this case, corrected. Leave a comment from the comment hints or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.